Hello friends, Charlie here yet again with another classic but simple cocktail. Today, the Greyhound. Now, this recipe calls for either gin or vodka. I'm using gin because that's what was originally used and it's actually what I prefer. It's a very good drink. The Greyhound has a very long history as being one of the most classic drinks. Ernest Hemingway even enjoyed them. And the Greyhound, if you take the basic drink, make it and make one little change, you get a completely different drink. So feel free to experiment. Use vodka if you want to instead of gin. Uh, of course, the most obvious change is if you salt the rim of the glass, instead of a greyhound, you have a salty dog. There's all kinds of variations like that out there, friends. Feel free to experiment and try. We start with one and a half ounces of gin. And of course, since we're using gin, we're going to build this straight in the glass. We do not want to shake. I don't care what James Bond says. He may be the world's greatest spy. He doesn't know how to mix a drink. And in fact, he's not really the world's greatest spy, if you think about it. After all, he's 007. If he was the world's greatest spy, he'd be 001. Anyway, one and a half ounces of gin, straight over the ice, and two ounces of grapefruit juice. No, I take that back. There's three ounces of grapefruit juice. Pour straight into the glass as well. Give it a quick stir. Just enough to mix and dilute a very small amount. The Greyhound. Now if I'd salted the rim of the glass before building the drink, that would be a salty dog. Doesn't sound like much, but it is quite a large difference in the drinks. Light scent of juniper, since I did use gin instead of vodka. A very citrus smell from the grapefruit juice. Very good drink, very crisp, very refreshing. I think you'll like this one, friends. But there you have it, the Greyhound. Enjoy it, friends, and as always, we'll see you Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time on KJSR.net. Until then, enjoy.